Well, cleanup is underway this afternoon as crews work to restore power, clear blocked roads, and repair damage caused by yesterday's severe weather. These are pictures from Jacksonville, Baltimore County this morning, but we're not out of the woods just yet. More thunderstorms are set to hit later this afternoon. Hello again, I'm Sean Stryker. We have live team coverage. Meteorologist Meg McNamara is tracking the new set of storms heading our way, but we start with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live with the damage in Phoenix. Mike. Sean, I just talked to the homeowner who lost his roof here, and he says it's a miracle that he and his family survived this. The National Weather Service is here on the scene right now. They're looking to determine uh, if this indeed was a tornado that caused this damage. We also want to go live to Chopper 13, giving you a bird's eye view of some of the tree damage in this area. And the National Weather Service investigators are looking at what, how those trees were sheared off. They're also looking at the radar from last night's storms, which did show a rotation. And it did start getting very dark right about the time it was predicted to come through. And then the wind picked up, the rain picked up. There was a time when looking out our door or window from the house where you couldn't even see the woods because the rain was coming down so hard. Baltimore and Harford counties were under a severe weather threat yesterday as storms blew through. In the Phoenix and Jarrettsville area, the National Weather Service will be on the scene today to determine if it was a tornado. It did knock down several tall trees and blew one tree into a house. Thankfully, no one was hurt. We were inside at the front door with the front door open, and we saw it come down to the top of the trees. It almost came down to us, but as soon as it got to the top of the trees, one of the trees came down into the roof. I turned around, and my wife was covered in insulation and drywall on the steps. She almost got killed. And luckily, we had a dog and a cat which survived. Scary, because I got a lot of trees around me. And we have a lot of neighbors. We have one elderly neighbor who lives by himself. And at the time, we didn't know whose house it was and just praying that it wasn't his. We didn't want it to be anybody's, but we really didn't want it to be his. And we didn't want it to be anybody's, but unfortunately, the tree looks like it won this one. It certainly did. Another live look from Chopper 13 at some of the tree damage here in Baltimore County. And there is a severe weather threat tonight. So if you hear of any warnings, make sure you take cover. You listen to that advice. We'll keep you covered here on WJZ. Reporting live in Phoenix, Mike Helgren, WJZ.